What's up, everybody? Welcome to another video by the Article Blue 43. Today, we're taking a look at all of the ice racers as my first special for Christmas. As you can see by the title, it says Christmas Special Episode 1 of the Ice Racers. And I decided to do this for each day until the 25th. Today is December 23rd. And then tomorrow, which is going to be Christmas Eve, I'm going to review Taco Man, which is the Piston Cup Racer Greg Candyman. And then, of course, on Christmas Day, I'll be reviewing all of my Christmas cars I have, like the Christmas really cars, like the Raiders Springs Town, if you know what I'm talking about. So I thought it'd be pretty cool and in addition to my growing of my channel since recently I've hit 100 subscribers and a special will be coming out of that soon and I just like to thank you guys for that but not getting a little off topic and this video is going to be focusing on all the ice racers as special one episode one so as you can see I have all the ice racers right here now I actually do not have all of the ice racers the only one I am missing is ice racer frosty which was only um, a Target exclusive in Australia. It was Australia Target exclusive, so you could have never found it in USA, unfortunately, or any other country besides um, Australia. And if you didn't live in Australia, you always, you 100% of the time had to live, not had to live. My bad. Had to get Ice Rage of Frosty online. I still haven't gotten it yet. I'm hoping to get them for Christmas. If not, I'll wait for my birthday because my birthday is coming soon as well. And hopefully, I do get it because he's the last one I need to complete my Ice Rage's collection. But nonetheless, let's get, let's get on with the rest of my half here. We, of course, have Lightning McQueen, Francesco Lewis, Vidley Petrov, Shu back there, R Max, Nigel, Miguel, Jeff, Carlos right there, Raul's right there, and Mike there, if you can see back there, that's Rip Kuchkonski. So now let's get on with each of them in separate. So we'll first take a look at Vidley Petrov because he actually is the host of this ice racer. Race is pretty cool how they made one of these super chases the host of one of the T Rock series. As you can see, he has the, actually the same expression as Max. That kind of confused expression is what I think of it. He has blue rearview mirrors on the side. We see he's number 11 with some Australian language and stuff like that. We actually see the WTCL logo on the bottom, if none of you noticed before. Previously, he actually has a WTCL logo that Max Chanel has, which is kind of odd in my opinion since they're running. Since they're not for the same country. And as you can see, he has this cool design for his country. I forgot what country he runs for. It probably is Australia. And then he has these, like, um, yellow design. It's like a yellow design. He has a red top. And as you can see, mine's kind of scraped, unfortunately. And he has a blue bumper up front. I love all the snow details on him. He has snow. Looks like he got... Looks like the snow got on him pretty well because he's racing in the snow, of course, in Australia. As you can see, he has blue eyes, flat eyelids. He has the Ice Racer Cup logo on his hood. This side is identical to this side. He has nice rims with, like, black on them, like black stubs, I guess you can say. On the back, there really isn't anything besides more Austra um, language and stuff like that. And the Ice Racer logo has a tiny little thing up in the left corner. And on the spoiler, he doesn't have anything on top, but it is light blue with the number 11 on each side. And he actually was released two different ways. As a single and in a box set that came with an exclusive, Francesco Bernoulli as an ice racer. Now, he wasn't really exclusive because he did actually end up getting released as a single in the United States. Like, just a couple of weeks ago, I saw ice racer Francesco as a single, at Toys R Us as a single. So that's awesome, but still unfortunate. Yeah, they put him as exclusive, because I do believe they do that when he's going to be released as a single. They might as well just put it as first look instead. And I didn't buy it because I already had Ice Racer Francesco from that four-pack. Here's Lightning McQueen up next. As you can see, he has a nice, happy expression on his face. He looks very happy to be in the race, of course, because he's racing with his fellow Continental race fans. Not race fans. His racing friends. And then we have the Hudson Warner Piston Cup logo on his hoodie. And he actually doesn't have the flames. It's in blue lining, because I don't think the flames would match the design kind of thing for the cup, that Ice Racer Cup. He is number 95, of course, and he actually has a blue lightning bolt other than the kind of orangish slash yellow 
Lightning mode that we've seen from previous releases of Lightning McQueen is actually blue, which I, makes me love him more than I thought I would ever love him. And as you can see, he has some tires I think are actually supposed to represent snowflakes. As you can see, it kind of represents snowflakes. He has those black stub things. Not sure what to think about those. Then he has some language and stuff like that under the 95. The Ice Face a Cup logo right there. Blue eyes, of course. On the top, it has the number 95. And then we have his signature on each side. I do believe that's his signature. And this spoiler is black. And actually, it does say Radiator Springs with 95 on each side of the spoiler, as you can see. And also on the back, we have more logos and stuff like that. And unfortunately, mine has this bent tire on it. Like, I don't know what happened with the tire, but it just bent. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get a replacement soon. But I don't really think it's going to be that hard to get a replacement for him. But that's not what I'm mainly focusing right now. Because right now, I'm really just mainly focusing on cars that I do not yet have. Or, if not, then i probably get them right away. And, of course, he has a black. Or not actually black. My bad. He has a white base, actually. That's pretty cool how he has a white base. Because I think other releases him have black bases. And he was also released as a single and in that four-card box set with the exclusive Ice Racer from Chesco Manoli, even though he wasn't exclusive. And speaking of that exclusive Ice Racer from Chesco, I was just talking about here he actually is. As you can see, he has this happy expression on his face with the number one logo on his hood. I guess you can say that's his hood or his nose. And then we have some black, like, stubs and stuff like that on the tires. He has blue, like, rims, I guess you can say. A completely white base. He has the colors of the Italian flag because he is racing for Italy. And then we have the Carnival Cup logo with FR. And then we have blue on each side of his spoiler thing right there. It says number one. Right here on the top, this has the Italian flag kind of design. He has white wheels, of course. Right here, it says FB1. It stands for Francesco Bernoulli, one with the Italian flag. And then we have the Karma Cup logo again. He has some blue designs on him as well, as you can see. He has some blue designs, and I don't know if you can see that, but it actually does say Rotelli Tires. I'm trying to get the tires the right place. See? It says Rotelli Tires, but it's not noticeable because, of course, the snow is just covered up on Francesco right there and i always love the ice racer it actually is my second favorite transcontinental racer champion series my first one is definitely carbon racers but make sure to tell me guys in the comment section below which is your favorite t-rock series like i said mine is the carbon racers Next up is Carla Veloso. As you can see, she is the only female racer actually in the World Grand Prix. Because as you can see, she has the black eyeliner on her eyes, representing that she is a female. Like I said, she is the only female World Grand Prix racer in the World Grand Prix. She has a nice smile and expression. And she's actually completely covered up with snow up front, as you can see. The snow is really on her, and she has her designs. I always love her designs. You're like flower poof and stuff like that i'm not sure how to describe but he has she has those awesome designs on the side right here it's on the same as the other side as you can see you see the other logo right there it says the brazilian flag with cva cv obviously stands for color below so as you can see right here it has she has the number eight i do believe that is number eight or number nine yeah that's number eight and then we have some language up there because you see some black writing on her spoiler, she has number 8 with the Ice Racer Cup logo. And then on this side, she has a number 8 as well. And on the back, she has some more snow decals. And also, she has a white base. And that really is it for Ice Racer Carla Veloso. Now, let's move on to Raul Saul. Here is Raul. And as you can see, he has his happy expression on his, place, I mean his face. Blue eyes. Um, flat eyelids with the Carnival Cup logo on his hood. He has snow just rushing on his body. And he has the number six logo right there. And then he has this cool logo on. Here, I'm not sure what that represents. That might be the racing link. He goes in France and not part of the World Grand Prix. We also have the GRC logo, which is probably the same thing as this logo right here. I actually think this might be a different language version of GRC. Tell me guys what you think about that in the comment section down below. And as you can see, we have the French flag right there. I do believe it says RC5, no, RC6 on there. And then on the top, we have the um, white splotches and stuff like that, or some blue splotches and stuff. And on the back here, we see some more Australians, 
like language I think that is. And then we have the French flag right there, the Carnival Cup, not Carnival Cup, the Ice Racer Cup logo right there. We have some exhaust in the back as well as some snow decals. And he of course has a red spoiler with number six on each side, of course. And he also has a white base as well. And I do believe all of the Ice Racers actually do have a white base, so that's pretty cool. Now let's move on to Nigel. Here is Nigel Gearsley as an ice racer. As you can see, he has this awesome determined expression on his face. I don't think we've never seen this expression on Nigel before, so I absolutely love it. It makes him one of my favorite um, ice racer cup racers. As you can see, I love that determined expression. He has the England flag like right front and center, like right in the middle of his hood. He has some blue designs right here on this side as well. A blue bumper, some snow up front. He has blue outlining going around his grill, or most of us really like to call it. And on the side right here, he has number nine with the GTS1 logo right there. The um, Ice Racer Cup logo and some blue hook kind of design. Snow rushing up on his side of his body right there. More blue outline. The Carnival Cup logo is actually on his roof this time. I guess you can say the roof. And then he has some more like language or other racers and stuff like that as designs on the back. And then we have the number nine on each side of the spoiler. And we have blue a blue spoiler and there's nothing on the top of the spoiler. And he also has gray windows with a white base. So that is it for Nigel Gearsley. Now let's move on to Lewis Hamilton. Here's Lewis. As you can see, he has this awesome determined expression on his face. Although, I do think it is the exact same as the regular Lewis Hamilton. It's still a pretty awesome expression, in my opinion. But I do understand how some people get boring at times to see the same expression. But this one, I think it's pretty cool. And, it's, and to be honest, it's starting to get a little boring for me as well. As you can see, we have some blue outline that goes around his headlights, and it's on this side as well. We have the number two logo. Not number two. He is the race number two, I meant to say. You have LH2 right here, which stands for Lewis Hamilton number two, with the two country flag mixed into one, because he is actually the only World Grand Prix racer running for two different countries. I forgot what country that is, but I do know that one's England. And then on the back here, we have the same logo with the Ice Cup logo and then some more snow designs. And he's completely blue on the back. He has a blue spoiler with number two in black on each side, as you can see. It's on that side as well. And he has actually has some designs on the spoiler right there, as you can see. He has, like, the flag again, some other characters, Australian characters. And then he has the Ice Cup logo again. This symbol is the one we just looked at previously. That's right there. And he also has gray windows. And now he also has snowflake design tires, which is one detail I love about this Ice Racer Lewis Hamilton here. And also, as you can see, he has the snowflake designs with the blue, of course, and a white base. So that's it for Lewis Hamilton here. So now let's move on to the next one, Ice Racer Shoe to the Rope. Here's Ice Racer Shoe. As you can see, she has this, or he has this awesome, determined expression on his face. I'm sorry that the camera dropped there, girl. I accidentally dropped my camera. And as you can see, she has... Or why do I keep saying she? He has the red dot with the number 7 logo on his hood. And then he has some more blue designs. Now, he actually has no red on him. On the regular shoe turtle, the blue is cut, is with red. So I like how he changed it with blue. It looks like blue, awesome blue dragon designs. He has a Japanese logo with ST7. ST obviously stands for shoe turtle, then 7, representing the number he is in the World Grand Prix. We have the number 7 logo, and right here you actually see the model that shoots Roki is, surprisingly. It says Lee Motor Prototypes, and she has some, why do I keep saying she? Oh my gosh. She has, I mean, he has blue rims. As you can see on the back, we have the Ice Cup logo, and then we have the 7 on each side of his spoiler. Also with a blue spoiler as well, also with a black base on him so that's pretty much does it for shoe here he also has the cup logo on his roof and now let's move on to the next one which should be ice racer jeff corvette here is Ice Racer Jeff Corvette, and now I absolutely love the determined expression they gave for this Ice Racer Jeff Corvette. It looks very determined, looking to his right. For, to us, it looks like our left, but to him, it definitely looks to his right. And as you can see, he has the black outlining around his eyes, and you also have the 24 logo. But it's not really that noticeable because, of course, the snows keep, like, covering it up. We have some other Jap or Australian characters right there, and I love how his tires are in snow 
snowflake designs. I think you see a Sorops and a snowflake, which is very awesome indeed. We also have some snow designs rushing across his body right there. Nothing on the top, though. Top is completely non snowless, I guess you can say. Or non snowfall. And he has, yeah, I think it's actually a matte finish on him, which is pretty cool. He also has blue eyes with the Carnival Cup logo on his hood. He also has the Jeff. Not Jeff, um, the Corvette logo on the front of his hood because he, of course, is a Corvette. On this side, you know, and I know it's not noticeable as well, but he does have the American flag as a cool design on this side of the body as well as this side of the body as well, which I always loved about Jeff Corvette. Makes him one of my favorite World Grand Prix races. Although my favorite is probably Carla, but this one, Jeff Corvette here is probably a close second. I didn't see also the American flag right there with the Carnival Cup logo and some more Australian characters. You have 24 on each side of his spoiler with the blue spoiler as well. On the side of here it says JG24, stand for Jeff Gorvet 24. And surprisingly, this American flag is actually the opposite way. I'm not sure why they did it that way, but I guess that's just Mattel's mistake. And now let's move on to Max Chanel. Here we have Ice Racer Max Chanel. As you can see, he has that little, like, confused expression I was talking about previously. Um, Vitsley, you can kind of see Vitsley back there, as you can see. You can see Vitsley right there. And now let's move on further with Max Chanel here. He has blue eyes with flat eyelids. And then he has a blue bumper, blue rearview mirrors. Now, surprisingly, to, he actually doesn't have that much snow decals on him. And it's really disappointing. He really should have a lot like some have had. Like, for example, Jeff Corvette here. And as you can see, also he has some more blue designs on him with the number 4 logo right there. He has the Germany flag as a paint job, like rushing from here to the top of his roof to down here, which I always loved about Max Chanel. And he also has some little bit of snow up on his body right here, although his paint job is actually very noticeable because there's not really that much snow on him. He has the WTCL logo this time on his blue spoiler. Four on each side of the spoiler. On the back, there really is nothing because it's most of those, although I do think I see a Germany flag back there. He also has some blue and designs and stuff like that on there. He also has blue ones. Unfortunately, he's one of those who does not have it to represent a snowflake design. And he has a purple window in the back. And then he also, you can kind of see the Germany flag a little bit on the back as well. And also, he has a white base. And he actually was not released in the four-car box. Like he was just a single. And now, I didn't mention this in the beginning of the video, but in the beginning of the video, you probably heard Christmas music in the background just to get you guys into the Christmas spirit a little bit more in sense around Christmas. And I know I've had it in other videos as well, for, like, for example, the Carnival Racer Max Chanel review, which is ironic because I'm just reviewing the Ice Racer Max Chanel right now. The Carnival Racer Max Chanel, I did put um, Christmas music in the background that if you guys heard, and I did put it in other videos, but after that as well, until Christmas Day, just to get me and other people as well into the spirit. And not only is it for Ice Racer Max Chanel, let's move on to Rip Klitschkonski. Here is Rip. As you can see, he has this nice, happy expression on his face with the Ice Cup logo on his hood. He also has some blue designs with some snow decals on the side. And this actually replaces all the green on him. He no longer has any green on him. He now only has blue on him just for the Ice Cup, which I always loved about Rip because they gave him a brand new color. Although it wasn't permanent, it was just for that. It was just temporarily for that Ice Cup race. And he has some blue designs on his um I guess you can say front part with black on this side. And it kind of reminds me of Francesco a little bit. I'm not sure about you guys, but he does for me. He has this blue thing on the top, like right in the middle on each side. They're red. On here, it has RC10 with the new rear India flag, which is a fictional country on Mattel. Not Mattel, my bad. Disney Pixar made for this racer. They gave him a fictional country. And on his spoiler, it says Lean Motor Prototypes. Right here, it has the number 10 on each side. And then he has a number 10 right here with some ice cup designs as well. And also he has that happy expression with some more blue designs and has a white base. Not completely white. This part is actually red. The front part like his bumper. That's pretty cool about Ice Racer Rev Klitschkonski here. Another fun fact that he was actually one of the last Ice Racers to be released along with Caraveloso and Frosty. And let's move on to last but definitely not least... Ice Racer Miguel Camino here. And now, fun fact is that literally, I just started this right now and just remembered that Ice Racer Miguel here was actually my first review 
ever on my channel. If you guys scroll all the way down my channel and see the first video I ever done, it was actually of this ice racer Miguel Camino, and I cannot believe it. And my channel, I think, right now has been nine months, and I posted it on March 5th, so I gotta remember that, because once March 5th of 2017 comes around, that marks a one-year anniversary of my channel. So that is absolutely phenomenal. So now let's get on more into the reveal of Ice Racer Miguel here. And as you can see, he has this happy expression on his face. He has the, like, like Spanish kind of machinery kind of design on his hood. He has some blue designs right here. He has that star thing, like black. And then we have the 5 logo right there with the Ice Cup logo. More blue designs. Nice rims. And right here, it has GTS2 on 5 on each side. It's actually not in the middle. It's like in the corner, as you can see. On the back here, we have the Spanish flag with the Ice Cup logo. And then we have a white base. And then on the top, you have some more awesome designs. You have that like back black loop design, I guess you can say. And he has the MC5 logo. It stands for Miguel Camino 5, along with the Spanish flag. And he has green eyes with flat eyelids, blue rear view mirrors, and of course a light boy, white base, as I said previously. And that really is it for Miguel Camino here, and that also does it for the review. Tell me in the comments section down below which is your favorite ice racer. I haven't made it a full decision yet, but I think mine might be Rip Klitschkonski, but like I said, I haven't made a final decision yet. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. I'll see you guys by then. We're signing off.